The gospel text of today is taken from Mark chapter 6 verses 30 to 34 and narrates the return from mission of the disciples. The disciples had been sent on a mission to communicate God's unconditional love. This love was to be communicated to every single person without distinction. It was not a narrow mission. It was not a parochial mission. It was a universal mission and was to be communicated in word and in action to every human being and even to nature. The disciples were true to the instructions of Jesus who showed them through detachment even from the outcome of mission that the mission was not theirs, the mission was the Lord's. And the disciples understood these missions, these instructions, the disciples understood this mission and went and did exactly as Jesus had directed them. When they returned, they were elated. When they returned, they were excited and began to continue to communicate with Jesus all that they had done, all that they had taught, all that they had accomplished. The response of Jesus was to hear, was to listen patiently to all of that they were narrating. However, after Jesus heard them out, instead of applauding them because the outcome was not theirs but the Lord's, he told them that they needed to go to a lonely place and now rest physically in order to be ready for the next mission. The response of Jesus was not only to clap hands for them or to pat them on their back, which he possibly may have also done, but the primary response of Jesus was the concern that he had for the disciples. They may have been physically tired, even though they were spiritually and emotionally very charged up, they would have been physically tired, and so he wanted that they have their physical rest and invited them to go to a lonely place, to go to a deserted place and to remain there by themselves. However, like Jesus had told them earlier on, the outcome of mission was not theirs. The outcome of mission would be determined by the Lord and so even though Jesus invites them and they set out to go to that lonely place, that is not accomplished. And because Jesus was aware that everything was in God's hands, when he comes out on the shore after trying to move in a lonely place, he finds that in that lonely place, in that deserted place, there is a crowd of people. However, because Jesus was detached from the outcome of his actions, when he came on shore, he was not upset, he was not agitated. He did not say, oh, we wanted to go to a lonely place, but we could not do so. And look at this crowd, they are following us everywhere. No, he was detached from the outcome of his actions. And so when he came ashore and saw this crowd, he accepted even that as God's will. And what did he do? He began to reach out to them. He began to teach them. He began to communicate to them through words. God was a God of love. That God was a God of mercy and primarily that God was a non-judgmental God. In the first reading of today, through the prophet Jeremiah, God speaks to those shepherds who have led people astray. God speaks in Jeremiah of this shoot of David, of this 
person from the lineage of David who God has to bring now because the shepherds have so far been leading people astray. This shoot from the lineage of David is made visible in the person of Jesus. These shoots from the lineage of David are made visible in the disciples whom Jesus sent and today the shoots from the lineage of David are made visible in those of us who profess to be disciples of Jesus. There are times in our lives when we reach out to people and they accept us they accept our words, they accept our actions, and we are elated, we are excited because we have been able to do good. There are times, however, when we may reach out, when we might speak a kind word, we might perform a loving action, and it is not accepted or it is even rejected. And people are ungrateful, or people label us, or people call us all kinds of names. No matter what the result, you must keep in mind that our job is to continue to communicate love. Like Jesus, when he came ashore, even though he wanted to go to a deserted place, was able to reach the people still through loving words and loving deeds, we need to continue to communicate that love no matter what the response is. It can be challenging when people do not thank us for the good that we do. It can be challenging when people are ungrateful for the good that we do. And yet, if people had to thank us, then what other reward would we want to expect? If people had to be grateful and clap hands for us every time we did something which was good, then what other reward could we expect? If we are true disciples of Jesus, and if we want to follow our master every step of the way, then we must detach ourselves from the reward, we must detach ourselves from the outcome, and focus every time and all the time on what we must do now. Let us, like the disciples, who was successful in mission, count our success not so much after the outcome, but because we have engaged in the mission of God's 